It's been a little over a year since Tim Allen and Nancy Travis last graced our screens as Mike and Vanessa Baxter in the sitcom Last Man Standing, which wrapped its cancellation split, nine-season run on Fox in May 2021. Myriad other high-profile series have been cancelled in the meantime, and 2022 as a whole is filled with shows coming to an end. But none of that necessarily makes it any more enjoyable to reflect on LMS not being around anymore, as indicated by Alan himself in one of the stand-up comedian's more wistful social media posts of late. Tim Allen has already been quite busy in 2022 already, with both the Santa Claus streaming series coming to Disney Plus and his latest show with Home Improvement co-star Richard Karn hitting history soon. But both of those shows having wrapped filming, and given that neither one of those projects formats compared to how Last Man Standing episodes came together, it's understandable that the actor would feel pangs for the show without the need to go back into Baxter mode for a new season. Here's how he reflected on missing the show on Twitter. If you've ever said to yourself, Boy, I haven't seen a picture of TV legends Hector Elisondo and Jay Leno reading scripts at the exact same time, then you can put that declaration to bed, because that's a thing of the past. It's quite the oddball behind-the-scenes picture to share as a way for Alan to show how much he missed working on Last Man Standing, given how many people would presumably choose to share a massive group shot with everyone posing and smiling. But then that's never really been Tim Allen's style. In that sense, this is probably the perfect picture for him to have used, since it more properly represents what life was like on the set, where one is far more likely to see actors reading over their lines as opposed to gathering together and staring at a camera lens. Wait, that's what filming is. You get my point, though. A job is only as good as the co-workers one is surrounded by, and given all the talent that walked the last man standing set over the years, it was a good job indeed. Am I talking largely about Paul F. Tompkins, Jeremiah Burns, Reba McIntyre, and Robert Forster? Certainly them as much as anyone. When Cinema Blend spoke with Last Man Standing ZP and showrunner Kevin Abbott around the time of the series finale, he predicted that there would easily be room for the cast to come back together for more, though only after a few years of being away from it all. Here's how he put it at the time. Which isn't to say that fans will definitely see Tim Allen yucking it up anew within the outdoor Mon offices, since that would obviously come down to the cast agreeing, as well as a studio to bring it to the small screen. But given Allen's ongoing popularity, ITD be silly to think he'll never happen. Once a show survives one cancellation, it can survive anything. Tim Allen will soon be thinking a lot more about his new show with Richard Karn, More Power, which will make its chainsaw revving debut on History on Wednesday, June 29 at 10 p.m. ET. Following that, Disney Plus subscribers will likely see the newest chapter of the Santa Claus saga at some point closer to the Christmas season, 